Hey, hi friends, this is Bakapa. So far I have discussed in the first tutorial how to install SpecFlow and how to create a SpecFlow project. And also I have discussed how to create future files, step definition class. Then finally we have executed the future file. And also we have generated the living doc.html report. In the second tutorial, I have discussed what are hooks and how to implement hooks in SpecFlow Selenium C Sharp. In the third tutorial, I have discussed how to install extent report in a SpecFlow Selenium C Sharp. And also I have discussed how to implement extent report in SpecFlow Selenium C Sharp. In this tutorial, I will discuss how to add the screenshot into extent report when test script is failed. So now I will go to the Visual Studio ID. So firstly, we will write the code for capturing the screenshot. Then later we will add the code for adding the screenshot into the extent report. So here in the right side, Solution Explorer, I will go to the utility folder. I will open the extent report class. So here we will implement the code for capturing the screenshot of the screen. So here I'm writing the method called add screenshot. Here I'm specifying the return type of this method is string. So finally this method will return returns the location of the screenshot. So here I'm specifying the method name as add screenshot. So this will accept two parameters. One is driver. By using the web driver object, we can take the control of the web page and we can capture the screenshot. And second parameter is scenario context. By using that, we can get the scenario name so that I can provide the screenshot name as the scenario name. So here I'm writing iWebDriver and driver. This is the first parameter. And the second parameter is scenario context. So by using this reference variable, we can get the scenario name from the future file. So that's it. So simply I'll write the return statement. I'll say empty. So as of now, I'll provide the empty string. So later we can return the location of the screenshot. To capture the screenshot, we have to firstly cache this particular driver object to the I take screenshot. So here I'll write. Sorry. So here I'm writing the code. Uh, here I'm taking this driver object and converting this to the I takes screenshot. So here I'll pass the driver. Then I will assign back to the I take I takes screenshot reference variable. So that's it. So by taking the reference variable of I takes screenshot, I will call to the method called get screenshot. So this returns me the screenshot. And the return type of this particular method is screenshot type. So we have to store this into the screenshot type. So that's it. So this method will capture the screenshot by using this screenshot reference variable, we have to save the screenshot, right? So before we saving the screenshot, we have to identify the location where we have to store the screenshot. So already we, if I go above, so here, this particular reference, sorry, variable test result path. So this is the test result path contains the location of the test results, right? So this is where we are generating the extent report. In the same place, we will add the screenshot. So I will use this variable. And before we save the screenshot, so we will provide the proper name to the screenshot by using the path dot. I'll call the method called combine. So here I'm combining the test result path. That is the test result this particular location and, and I'm adding the scenario name at the end i will provide the what is the format of the image we wanted to store it so inside this i will pass test result path i'm passing the 
location of location of the extent report and followed by so i will use the reference variable of scenario context so here i'm basically forming the screenshot name and the location so by using this scenario context i can get the scenario name so whenever any script is getting failed any scenario is getting failed we will provide the scenario name as the screenshot name right so here i'm calling to the method called scenario info so under this there is a title so this returns me the scenario name whenever any of the scenario is getting executed executed so whatever the current scenario is executing so this title returns me that scenario name so that's it then i'll pad dot png so we are capturing the screenshot in the format of png then if if you see at the end right so return type of this particular combined method is string type so i'll assign back to the string here i'll say screenshot location so this test result path contains the test result folder location and after that i'm passing the scenario name at the end i'm passing the extension as dot png that's it so this particular variable screenshot location holds the exact path of the screenshot with the name right so now what i will do by using this screenshot reference variable and i will save the file so simply i'll pass the this screenshot location and followed by i will mention the format in which format i wanted to store the image so here you can call to the one enum here you can use whatever the format you want in my case i will use the dot png format you can go ahead and use the jpeg as well so that's it guys so finally i will return the screenshot location variable so it's very simple so let me explain one more time what what i have done so far here i'm type casting the driver object to that i take screenshot and by using this reference variable i'm calling to the get screenshot so this method will capture the screenshot of the web page and after that in the line number 47 we are saving this particular screenshot in this particular location so this is the screenshot location what we are what we have written line number 46 is for right at the end we are returning the screenshot location so that's it so we have written the method to capture the screenshot and that returns the path where exactly we have stored the screenshot so before we go ahead and add or before we go ahead and call this particular method in the hooks right so we will make sure that one scenario is getting failed i will go to the test explorer and i will execute this scenario we will check whether it is passing or failing so if it is passing we'll fail it in intentionally so that we can capture the screenshot first we'll test this part how to capture the screenshot then next i will discuss how to add that particular screenshot into the extent report So I think this scenario is working fine. So I will go to this particular feature and from the future, I will go to the step and I will modify some locator value. Then that time it will fail this particular scenario. So I will right click on this and I will say go, go to test and it goes, it goes to the future file. So I will go to the, this particular step implementation. So if you wanted to go to step implementation, simply click on this step and you say here, go to definition. So here I will just remove S yes from here so that this X path value will be not matching and it will fail the script, right? Again, I will go back to the test explorer. I will execute this scenario. So now this time, this scenario will be failed. 
then we will go to the hooks class then simply we will call add screenshot method in the hooks class so firstly we will verify whether it is capturing the screenshot or not so it is failed it is saying that no such element exception right so if you go right side so this this is an invalid xpath right so now i will go to the hooks class and i will come down so here there is an attribute that's a hooks attribute called after step so inside th this we have the two blocks so this block will be get executed when step is passing if you look at this one line number 84 command and if i come down line number 105 so this set of code will get executed when step is failing right so firstly we will verify whether add screenshot method is capable of taking the screenshot or not so whenever it scenario sorry step is failed simply it comes inside this one so here i will call that method add screenshot so this is accepting two types of parameter one is driver another one is scenario context so already scenario context reference variable is present in this particular method in this attribute after step so if you look at here so already this reference scenario context reference variable is present so directly i'm passing this one and i need to pass a driver object right so to pass for passing the driver object you can simply copy this line number line number 69 so this is how you can get the driver anywhere you want so i'll paste it here that's it right so in the line number 10, we have called the add screenshot method basically what it does whenever script is whenever scenario is getting failed and it will simply capture the screenshot still we have not added screenshot into the extend report right so we will verify first whether it is capturing the screenshot or not when scenario is failed so i will rerun the same scenario now so right now inside this test results folder we don't have the screenshot added and after the execution of this scenario one screenshot should be present with the scenario name right if you look at here on the right side in the solution explorer under test results there is a one screenshot present right i will go to this test results folder i'll say open folder in file explorer and if you look at this one report also generated now and also screenshot also added just simply i'll open this screenshot so we are able to capture the screenshot successfully right so now the part is how to add the screenshot into the extend report or how to attach screenshot into the extend report right so let's go ahead and add the one line of code and that will add the screenshot into the extend report i will go again back to the hooks class so this part will be get executed whenever the scenario step is getting failed right so if i come to the line number 140 right so here we are creating the node whatever the based on the step type even in the 118 line number and 122 and as well as 126 so based on the step type we are creating the node and after that we are adding the step name then we are adding the some error messages whenever the scenario is getting failed right similar way so we have to also add the screenshot so for this pass sorry fail method only we can pass another attribute so that's a media entity builder so under this particular class there is a method called create screenshot uh, sorry screen capture from base 64 string and another there is another method called create screen capture screen capture from path so basically we have the return a method which will return as the location of the screenshot so that's the reason so we are adding the screenshot from the path so that's the reason i'm selecting the second method create screen capture from path so here we have to call the same method so simply i'll cut this particular method now and i'll paste it inside this one so that's it i'll come again right side and at the end you need to call to the one method called build so that's it so this is 
actually this code will get executed whenever the step contains the given keyword so similarly i will copy this part and i'll paste it for the other step type other step types that is when then and as well so similarly i'll add the media entity builder so that's it that's it guys so we are fine with the code so it is very simple so inside the fail method so it is capable of accepting the two types of for comment one is the error message and the next one is the screenshot so that it will add the error message after failing it it will add the error message and also screenshot to the extent report so that's only this is this much we have to do it in in the after step attribute in the hooks class that's it guys so let us execute the script once again now this time sorry before i execute this particular scenario let me delete this particular screenshot i will just close this session i'll go back to this test results folder i'll simply delete this screenshot so that it will capture the new screenshot and it will add add to the extent report so i will simply refresh once now i will execute this scenario so now there is no screenshot inside the test results folder and eventually it will create the screenshot and also it will add the screenshot into the extent report when script got failed so here here the script will be unable to find the element and if you look at here in the test results folder so screenshot is all also created and we'll open this extent report and we will verify whether ex whether screenshot is added into the extent report or not so i will open the extent report now so if you look at this one so feature is already failed and i will click on the scenario and if i come to the step number 3 right here here it has added the error information what reason this particular step is failing and also at the end if you look at this one you can click on this one it has added the screenshot also so this is how you can capture the screenshot in specflow selenium c sharp and also this is how you can add the screenshot into the extent report in specflow selenium c sharp so same scenario you can try at your end and let me know if you face any issues or queries if you are having any queries as well you can comment in the comment section in the next tutorial tutorial i will cover how to perform the data driven testing in specflow selenium c sharp if you like this video click on like button and also subscribe to this particular channel thank you so much for watching this tutorial